What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Thief22 video. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest ways to make coins during Thief22's team of the year. If you guys do enjoy the video and find it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe with notifications turned on to never miss one of my uploads. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first trading method. Now, the first method I am going to show you guys is the one on screen. Gold rare, position to defender. League, you want to go to Premier League. Country, you're going to want to go to England. And you do want to put Manchester United as the club. Now, there is uh, three cards that can pop up on this filter, and that is Harry Maguire is 84, Luke Shaw, his 84, and Wan Basaka, his 83. Wan Basaka being the most expensive, despite being the lowest rated. Now, these cards on the market, as you can see, I mean, 1.1k there, but you can see that they're selling on the market for around 2.8. I'd imagine you're selling at 2.8, yeah. So, 2.8, 2.9k insta sell price right now. Now, obviously, it's important you guys do check when you are using this sniping filter because they may have a different buy now on the market at that time. So, if they're going to be 2,900 coins, tax on that is going to be 145 coins, meaning you're going to want to snipe at around 2.6k. So, any deals that you do see are going to be a minimum of 150 coin profit. Then, first search, we load in on a Harry Maguire there for 2.6k. And as you guys can see, that was on the market for three seconds, and we still managed to get it, even though we've just seen them go up at 2.9k. Now, I'll quickly add that to the pile of Harry Maguire's that I have already sniped using this filter. In my opinion, this is the most active filter, I mean, in FIFA 22 right now. You can make so many coins as so many deals do pop up. However, a lot of it, you can be quite contested, as you guys see there. Literally, five seconds later, we miss out on a Luke Shaw for 2.4k. It is a contested sniping filter, obviously, because it is so good. Like, 1.1k, he's 2.9k. But if you can successfully get these cards, then you are going to make lots and lots of coins in FIFA 22 during Team of the Year. Obviously, the best time to do these is when the promo packs are out around Team of the Year. So, like, make sure to go check the store and check if there is lightning round packs out right now, because then you will see more and more of these deals coming into the market, making the filter more and more active for you guys to make even more coins. Finally, go ahead and try and snipe that note at 2.2k. So what we are going to do then quickly is show you guys that the filter is successful, and we're going to go list the Harry Maguires that we have sniped. So we have already sniped three Harry Maguires, uh, one at 2.6k, one at 2.5k, and then another one at 2.6k. We're going to go ahead and list these all up for 2.9k, and I mean, that will sell within under a minute. On each of them coins, we're making around 150 coins, so combined, nearly 500 coins made there from very little effort. I mean, as I've been showing you guys the filter you guys have seen, we got a successful trade on a Harry Maguire for 2.6k, going to go and list him up for 2.9k. So now, we're going to move on to the second filter of the video. Now, this is going to be a new filter, and it's going to be Premier League French, and you're going to want to be gold rare. You can take off all the positions, you're going to go Premier League French. And you're going to put a min price up to 10k. Now, this is important because if you have this even lower, like 9.9k, you can see other cards on this filter, such as End on Ballet. There you go. But the cards which you are going to want to see on this filter are going to be Pogba and Larice. You do have the chance of seeing Varane or Kante, but obviously that's very rare. If you do see them, then you're going to make more coins. But yeah, if you want the min price at 10k, then you want to find the maximum by now that these cards are going for. <laughs> Normally, on the market, is around 18.25k. There you go, obviously a little bit of an undercut on Larissa at 1775. But going price on these cards is around 18k for an insta sale. Now tax at 18k is 900 coins. So if you could snipe at 17k to make 100 coins every time you see a deal, but I'm going to go to 16750 just because I would like to make more profit from the cards I do see. Then just set the max price to 15 mil and just do the normal sniping method that we are all comfortable with playing FIFA now. So you're just going to want to move the max price or just adjust a price filter and then uh, search the market and then do it again until a card does pop up now it can take a little bit longer for these cards to pop up obviously because they are higher rated meaning they are a little bit more difficult to pack than the other cards such as harry Maguire and luke shaw but you can make a lot more profit on these cards for example they can pop up on the market for like 13 14k and we know that we can insta sell these cards at 18k but as I said, they do pop up onto the market. It can take some time like for a deal to see. And it is a decently contested filter. However, especially when lightning rounds are active, it will be best to try and snipe fodder cards like these cards. And you can make a lot, a lot of coins. So this, guys, is filter number two. As you can see, we're not getting very fortunate. We're not sniping at the time of a lightning round, which is partly why we aren't seeing any deals. But if you guys are patient with this filter and you do wait 
and you do continue sniping, you will see deals at 15, 14K, which you might be able to successfully get. And then make 4K, meaning that you'll make a lot of coins, even though it does take you a while to see a card. Now that, guys, is trading method number two on this filter. We're going to move on to trading method number three. Now it's going to be another one with the Premier League. Now with this one, it's using uh, Portuguese cards from Manchester City. So you're going to have Gold Rare, Portugal, Premier League, Man City. Now you can get rid of the min price at 10k because the only three cards which you are going to be able to see is Ruben Diaz, Bernardo Silva and João Cancelo. Now these cards on the market, I think Bernardo Silva is the cheapest at around 9.9k normally. There's a one undercut there at 9.9k uh, which is just sold instantly. Obviously there's a snipe considering we're searching at 9.9k. 10k, 10k being the cheapest. So if you can insta sell these cards at 10k, that's 500 coins. Meaning you could snipe anywhere from 9.4k or below to make at least 100 coin profit. So it's literally simple again. All you're going to want to do is sit here and snipe at 9.4k. And the deals do pop up. As I've said before, I said this with the French one. It is better during lightning rounds. But you guys did just see that Bernardo Silva at 9,000 coins. Now, as I've said, you can see cards such as Ruben Diaz, which obviously are a higher rating. They go for a little bit more on the market. And you can also see João Cancelo who does also go for a little bit more than Bernardo Silva. But this sniping filter is a little less contested than the other ones, just because it it's higher rated, like the French one. If you guys can see a deal on this filter, you are most likely going to get it. And as I've said, you can see them at 7, 8k, or you can get a Ruben Diaz, which would be really, really good profit. So, moving on then, onto the fourth filter of the video, we're going to move on to Moroccan card Hakimi. Now you don't actually need to go to Morocco, you can just type in his name Hakimi. Now the reason why we're going to snipe Hakimi is because he is actually going out of packs tomorrow for team of the year. The same as Ruben Diaz, at, no sorry not tomorrow. He's going out of packs on around Tuesday for team of the year defenders, obviously him being a team of the year defender. So is Jao Cancelo and Ruben Diaz which we were previous sniping. So he is inflated right now, he was at around 13k however he's all the way up to nearly 19k, there you go 18,250. He's all the way up here at 18,250. Obviously, that card selling up. He's around 19k probably. So, if you can sell on at 18,750, tax on that is going to be like 950 coins. So, I'd go down to just around 17k to guarantee to yourself a lot of profit. And then you're going to see deals like that one right there. Uh, Ashraf Hakimi on the market for 13k on the first search. Now, I was a bit slow to that. I did load in a little bit late. But if you guys were successful in getting this trade, you could make like five six thousand coins profit just there now these will pop up quite regularly on the market as he is going out of packs obviously him rising up from 13k up to 18k does mean that some people are not like don't know the full price aka like the guys who's just listed that card for 13k but this does tend to be a pretty competitive sniping filter that is because ashraf hakimi is quite a meta card if you guys are finding it hard to win him on snipes you can always just go and win him on bid so if we just search through here, 6.8k, 51 seconds left. We know we were trying to get these for around 16.5k. So if I put a bid on there for 16.5k, yes, we may not get it. But if you do bid on enough of these cards for 16.5k or whatever price he is at the time, then you will be able to successfully get this price for him eventually. So that again here, we're just going to pop a bid on this Hakimi for 16.5k. You're probably going to get outbid on most of them. But as I've said, if you do do it on enough of them, then you, you will be successful and you can insta sell these cards for around 18,750. So if we do get one of them trades, that would be really nice profit. But again, just quickly go 18,750 where we're going to try and sell him. That is a little bit of an undercut, has already sold. I think he's actually a bit more than 18,750 now, around 19k. Yep, you can sell him within 10 minutes at 19k if you wanted to. Now, all these trading methods which I have shown you guys is going to be with gold rare cards. So if you'd like to trade with something different, uh, which is a little bit more competitive, now that's going to be Silver Team of the Weeks. Now this method I think is really underrated, and not many people are actually focused on it, mainly just because the cards are silver. Now as you can see, they're 12k on the market. What you're going to want to do is just find their lowest buy now, which right now is 12k as I've just said, and you want to just load in and hit compare price back out. Now every time you're hitting compare price back out, it's refreshing the market, and as you can see, new cards like this guy are going to pop up on the market. Him there has popped up on the market for 11k. Now, the reason why I've insta-bought that is because, as you guys can see, 
there's loads up at 12k of the same guy, Zuck, but he, they've only been up for 10 minutes, meaning I can sell this guy for 12k within the hour. So if we go ahead and list him up for 12k, tax on that if it does sell is 600 coins, meaning we're making a 400 coin profit when he does sell from basically five seconds of compare price back outing on the filter. <coughs> So as you guys can see, it's really effective and it does work. I mean, you can see other cards on the filter, such as like different ones. Some of them have a bit of a higher value. I have done this filter a lot before because I do favor it. That's not going to be profit. I'm not going to buy that. But I, I do do this filter a decent amount because it's really just, it's good. It's active and not meant, there's not much competition actually on the filter. And as you can see, they're going on bid for 7.3k with, with five seconds left. So I might as well just try, as I've said, and put a bid on this. We're going to go for around just 10k. It just seems a pretty decent bit amount. But yeah, you just hit, continue hitting compare price back out. And eventually the deals will pop up onto the market. Like you guys saw with that Zuck. Some of them are worth a lot, lot more than others. As you can see, there you go. Zuck has already gone and sold on at 12k pretty much instantly. We just bought him at 11k. In terms of bidding, I think we're being outbidded. So the Hakimi there went for 18k. Could have been sold for 19k. And this Hakimi went for 17750 so GG's to that guy. He got profit. As you guys can see, you can make profit off of bidding on these cards. Now we're just going to try and quickly win this guy on bid. Obviously, 25 seconds left. Silver Team of the Weeks are not that focused in terms of, like, people trying to buy them. So you probably can pick them up on bid quite regularly. Especially ones that are just, like, out of packs, not currently in packs. Like this Song Wenji guy, he's out of packs. You can probably pick these guys easily up for around 11k, which is obviously a good price considering we know we can sell these guys on for 12,000 coins. I don't know if we are going to be successful getting this uh, Song Wenji for 12,000 coins as there seems to be another guy interested. The reason why these cards are up at 11k is because there is objectives called Silver Beasts where Silver Team of the Weeks are required. So there is actually a decent amount of demand for these Silver Team of the Week cards, especially during Team of the Year as they are... Needed for people to get more packs to complete the objective to get more packs to open for team of the year Now we have in fact I think just won this card for 11k which we have and we know we can just straight up go and list him for 12,000 coins on the market Now that right there is going to be an instant 400 coins profit However, because he is not Zuck there is a chance he goes for a little bit more on the market Although I have traded with Song Wenji before and he doesn't He is literally just around the base price of all these cards so we'll list him up for 12k, 600 coins, another 400 coin profit. But as you guys can see, the filters that I have shown you guys do work. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing. But here we go then. Here's the cards which we have sold. So we sold all three Harry Maguire's at 2.9k. These are not relevant to this video. These were just some prime icons I was trading with. We then also sold this Zuck for 12k after buying him for 11k. And give it a minute or so, this Song Wenji will sell for 12k. As I've said though, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did find these filters helpful and make you guys loads of coins during FIFA 22 team of the year. You can also join my FIFA 22 Discord server, the link to which will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video as our Sun Wenji sells. Bye.